I'm Lorna with the University of Missouri Extension Master Gardeners of Greater Kansas City. Today's Tuesday tip, we'll be discussing how to take one ground cover plant and turn it into many. Propagating a plant by crown division or dividing is one of the best ways to propagate non-woody perennials. I want to mention that some plants are patented or a patent is pending. That means they may not legally be propagated. You can look at a plant's label to see if propagation is prohibited. Here are two examples of labels that show a plant patent is pending or granted, or check on your computer using any of the plant patent websites that are displayed. We just released a Tuesday quick tip that covers plant patents. Here's a QR code to direct you to that video. Give it a look and let us know your thoughts by dropping a note in the comments section. Now back to dividing ground covers. In a minute I'll divide one so you can see how easy it is. But first I'll show you pictures of the exciting results I got the first time I tried this a few years ago. I wanted to replace some grassy areas with ground cover. I bought one healthy 4-inch pot of chocolate chip ajuga at my local garden center. Ajuga grows quickly and I wasn't in a hurry. To maximize the number of divisions I'd get, I planted the small ajuga and I let it grow until it reached its mature size. That took about 6 months. Then I dug it up, divided it, and planted all of the divisions. From that single plant, I got 93 divisions. I still had to remove the grass and prepare the areas where I wanted these plants to grow, so at first I just planted them in a raised bed on my deck. They stayed there a couple more months. The new plants filled the whole raised bed. When I had their permanent spots in my yard ready, I transplanted them. Soon they spread the carpet those areas completely. I paid $3.99 for my starter plant, and I got 93 more plants from it. Had I purchased all 94 plants, my cost would have been $372. Okay, let's see how this division of the initial plant is done. The plant I'm using is a ground cover plant called a juga. Some people call it bugleweed, and it's a good ground cover plant that I like. This particular plant you would put in the shade or in partial shade, but there are other ground covers you could plant in the sun that you could also propagate in the way I'm going to show you. I've purchased this one plant at a garden center. When I purchased it, before I bought it, I turned it over and I made sure it had good healthy roots. The roots should be a light whitish color. And they are. So this is a good healthy plant. I'm going to take it out of its pot and you can see that in this that was sold as one plant there are actually several. I'll probably be able to divide this into eight or nine plants. This is one, here's another one, and each of these has their own top part and their own root system. All I'm going to do is separate them from one another and then replant them individually. Some of them may be attached to each other underneath the soil, and if that's the case, I've got a pair of shears here, I'll just cut them apart. But first I'll just try to separate them with my hands as much as I can. Now as soon as I start, I can tell that they're joined together down here in the middle and I'm going to have to cut them apart. I'm just going to go down in the center of the plant, put it in between some of the plants, making sure to get some root on each piece, and I'm going to cut where they were attached in the middle. So you'll be able to see now as I pull this apart how each part has its own top growth and it has its own good healthy roots. Now that I've got it into two pieces I'm just going to keep separating it more and more. So I should be able to separate it into one, two, at least three. So I'm going to cut it here, take off this piece with its roots, trying not to damage them, and then I'm going to set the individual plants in this bowl of water I've got to keep them moist before I plant them. And then I'll cut off another one. And there's this little plant with its roots going in the water. This one I might be able to separate into two more. See how it has two crowns? I'm going to see if I can gently take them apart and leave roots on both pieces, and I believe I can. I'm going to cut right here and then take this little one off and see how he's got it, its own roots right there. So I'll be able to plant this and it's going to grow into a nice full grown plant. So there's four plants from the one 
and I'll just do the same thing with these. So there, as you can see, I've separated the one plant into all these plants. Here we are out in the garden ready to plant the divided ground cover plants. I've got them here in their dish of water. Below me you'll see here the holes that I've dug. I've got nine plants now, so we've dug nine holes. I'll put one plant in each hole. We'll cover them up. I'll water them in. Here we go. So you just put a plant in here with its crown about at the ground level, filling around it. I like to press them in gently to settle the soil around the roots, but don't pack it down because that's not good for the soil. Then I'll do the same thing with the rest of these. After I've come back a little bit later and watered these in, we'll come along and uh, put a mulch. So this is how you take your one ground cover plant and turn it into mini to fill in your area. I hope you have fun doing that, and we'll see you in the garden.